dance. Uh, hi, my name is Kaylee Burton. Oh, hello there. My name is Max Beaudry. Hi, my name is Jay Bion. Hello. My name is David Wong. My name is Brett Rogers. Hi, my name is Jamie Toller. I am a senior broadcast major at ISU. I'm a junior at Cal State Fullerton, 21 years of age, and I am here in the Gezuksa at Dima. I go to um, Cal State Fullerton. I'm in fourth year of communication concentration on entertainment, and I'm 22 years old. I go to Cal State Fullerton. I am 22 years old, but in Korean age, I'm 24. Uh, my major is Communications, Public Relations. I am 22 and I'm a junior at Cal State Fullerton. My major is Communications and Public Relations. I'm 19 years old and I'm a sophomore at Illinois State University. And Oh, my major. I'm majoring in Broadcast Journalism. What was it like leaving California to come to Korea? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was excited, but at the same time a little scared. It was not as hard to leave home as I thought. Really awful. <laughs> It was amazing. I'm more excited than nervous about this whole trip. So uh, actually didn't have any apprehensions. All those have started to creep up on me now, <laughs> now that I've been here. I was like eager, ready to get out of California. I guess for me, it's just, I don't know. It's like, it's like my own home country, but the, at the same time, um, I feel a little bit scared. The most helpful person since being out here who has helped me adjust to Korean life is definitely Songbom Kim, also known as Bomb. Songbom Kim, who is probably my best friend out of the group and in Korea, um, just because he's an amazing guy. I think I even wrote in my blog out here, I don't have my mom or Lexi, but I have Bomb. Uh, I would say Jane, hands down. Jane has, Jane is a godsend. A I don't know what we would do without her. We are beyond lucky to have Jane in our group. Oh, Neil George, hands down. <laughs> the guy's awesome. Uh, he's just always so helpful, and he just had a great first impression with me. And right off the bat, he always wanted us to help, or he wanted to help us. And if he had any questions, and uh, he's just really easy to talk to. He's a good guy to get along with. Like my dog, I really miss my dog a lot, but I feel like that's a dumb answer. Probably my dog. My dog. I miss sleeping with my dog every night. Just because I miss my dog. If this person, I probably remember my mom. <laughs> I ate a fish head. Okay, best food and drinks, let's see. There's a lot of good food, actually. Bimbap is, uh, it's like rice with uh, different kind of vegetables on it. They stick a fried egg on top and some hot sauce and you chop it all up in your bowl and you mix it all up and it's really good. Bulgogi and rice is absolutely amazing. Probably the crazy burger or crazed burger. That was by far the best burger I think I've ever had. When I go to my grandmother's house, she always gives me the, um, the sashimi actually. <laughs> I feel like um, I'm eating really healthy right now. Kiwi soju. Best drink I've ever had out here. Kiwi soju. So good. It's delicious. Best drink. Best alcoholic beverage I've ever had. My personal favorite is Kari Sweat. Worst food and drink is soju drink. I'm gonna have to say makgeolli. Makgeolli is like rice that went to die in some water and they left it out in the sun uh, to uh, decompose. And then they serve it to you in a bowl and they call it makgeolli. Makgeolli, which is a rice wine that is literally putrid Disgusting, terrible. They love it, but it's nasty. I like the makgeolli. The cherry soju is new, but I don't. I do really like that. <laughs> it, it tastes really like medicine. Steamed sesame leaf salad. It's like pungent, and um, I haven't spit anything else. I haven't spit anything out. That was the first time I spit something out. <laughs> Kimchi radish. Probably the other day when we went to E Mart. And I was trying free samples, and I just stabbed into the, one of the free samples, and I just popped it in my mouth, and started. Before I knew it, I was like, Shh, like shoot, like what did I just put in my mouth? And I, I well, the first bite, and it like burst in my mouth. And that's shitty. Luckily for me, it was only octopus head, but that was by far the worst thing I think I've had. 
I think I blocked that from my memory. Well, usually I just buy all my friends. <laughs> so... I love you guys. Like, I, I feel like totally, um... You guys are really, like, open-minded. There's been drama, but... It's... You know, we, we all get along. Um... Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. I really enjoy everyone's company. Like any group of people that get very close, there's some clashing, there's some tension, and... It's really obvious sometimes, but uh, overall, I think everyone's really cool. Everyone's a little bit different, and by a little bit, I actually mean a lot. Like, everyone's just really different, um, and they're fun in their own different kind of way. My favorite time here in Korea is uh, probably the first day we went to Hongdae, and we went to Club Cocoon. Uh, but it wasn't just going to Club Cocoon that was, like, the highlight of the night. It was because we went... We found our first love motel, which was fun, and uh, then we went to the beer garden, and then we had those big beers where they had uh, the big um, cooling cups in the, in the table, so that was pretty neat. And we finally made it to Club Cocoon, and I'd never seen a club like that back home. And the music was really good, the DJs were good, the atmosphere was fun, um, and uh, I don't know, it was, it was probably my favorite time here. Probably. Buddha's birthday celebration. There was like a really awesome parade and festival and lanterns everywhere and traditional dancing and it was really cool. I would say get involved with at least one club. Like specifically like for me, I did no new club. It was one of those things that you have a lot of downtime edema. It filled some of that downtime. Uh, met some really cool people out of it, and it was like really, really fun. So. Try to get more open-minded. Don't count anything out or like, uh, I say write anything off. Def definitely try all the food if you can. Uh, bounce around, don't just stay in one area too much. The budget is good, but to be honest, like you don't have to budget that hard, you can still maintain pretty like okay stuff here. Budget really well. Um, Keep an eye on your stuff at all times. <laughs> and uh, just don't worry about much while you're out here. Just have a good time and enjoy it for all it's worth. I'm happy to leave because... I'm not too anxious to go home. I just want to go back and hang out more with my brother, my friend, and my mom. So I definitely have a ball if I go there. It'll be really good to see my friends and family back home. and. I've got some plans already lined up for the like the first or second weekend I get back. Back home, it's like it's your it's your room, it's your house, it's your town. Like you just feel just comfortable anywhere. Being able to communicate with people, like <clears throat> those are gonna be the things I'm really gonna be happy about. I am sad about leaving because I love it here. The atmosphere and, the, and the, the way people treat you out here is so much better than it is back home. I like the culture and I like learning about it and trying new things. And just like the lifestyle like out here, just the people, I'm gonna miss a lot. And I'm really gonna miss our friends that we've made here, uh, Chan and Bomb and uh, Julie. Human interaction with other people that like live on the other side of the world. So that's probably like the one thing that I'm gonna miss the most. But mostly the Korean students that we won't see it ever again. Mm. Korea is amazing. You need to come here. Oh, awesome. I'm Peter. Yeah.